Oh my god, did I really just do that? Well, welcome back to my channel, y'all. <laughs> if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Um, this video will be a voiceover. My iMac is acting crazy, so right now I'm using the MacBook Air to try to get y'all some videos until I can get these videos off of my iMac. Hopefully they're not lost, but in this video you see me adjusting uh, to go ahead and show y'all how I'm making custom press-ons for myself. I have already, already sized the tips that I'm going to need, and I'm using Glam & Glitz Monomer along with um, Young Nails, and that color there is my favorite color. It is um, Cherry Blossom from Young Nails. And we're going to get started. So, I'm also using a Young Nails brush that I've had. No, I'm not. I'm lying. I'm using a Nail Glamour brush. You will see me switch brushes. In the meantime, that is because that Nail Glamour brush sucks. I don't know what happened to it, but it is holding so much acrylic. So, even after cleaning it, it still seems to stripe the acrylic and not really pull it down. It's just actually pulling it into the brush. So you will see me switch acrylic brushes uh, during this process. So I decided to go with doing custom press-ons because I have really damaged my nails. Just snatching nails off and switching them so much just because I know how to. That is the only downside to doing your own nails. Like you will really, when I say mess your nails up, you will if you don't slow down. Like I've been really, really busy. I haven't had time to do my nails so when I do have time to do my nails I really don't have time to do a soak off and I am really messing my nails up doing that so I'm taking a break from nails and just creating me some custom press-ons now the method that I'm using may not be your nail tech method or your friend's method or whoever but this is my method to doing my own custom press-ons you will also see me using uh, nail foil glue because I am going to use some Gucci foil through this set. So you will see how I do that. So if you don't know how to uh, apply foil and get it to stay without actually being removed from the nail by the monomer, stay tuned for that uh, because that will be a ombre set, an um, ombre foil set. So that'll be nice for you to see. And just stay tuned. Keep watching. And again, if you haven't done so, subscribe. So I'm sure some of y'all are looking at this video like, why is she not going all the way up? Is it because her finger's in the way or what? But no, I am actually stopping uh, where you see me stopping at because this is a custom tip and I want it to fit my nail bed directly. I don't want to have any spacing, any gaps, any issues like that. Uh, so I want it to actually look like I went and got my nails done. So in order to do that, I am going to have to stop there and you will see why soon. Just stay tuned.
Okay, so you all are going to see that I'm going to be pulling out foil. This is my favorite foil. It is from my website, loyalalert.com. Go to the menu and then select nail supplies and you'll see all I have available. Now you see, I don't know how to pronounce this right. If it's right or wrong, I say Mary Crack. Some people say Mary Cart. People call it all kinds of things. So, I am using their foil glue. It is the only one I have ever used. It works very well for me, as you will see. Uh, as long as you, I find, you have to apply it thick. And you also have to make sure that you cure it for the full 60 seconds, as you will see me doing. So, I'm going ahead and I am polishing with the foil glue to, to around... Well, the same place that I stopped with the acrylic on the previous one. So you will see this technique anytime that someone is using foil. I know some people um, will put down a base coat first and then go in with foil glue saying that works better for them. And everybody has their way of doing stuff like everybody. So you'll see me um, apply the foils here. Okay, so as you can see, I have my Melody Susie light. Um, I've had this light for almost two years, y'all, and it still works just fine. I'm not a fan of their uh, hand e-files because I blew two of them in less than six months uh, to a year. But their lights work miracles, and they are so affordable. So I like their light. So as you can see, I am waiting for the full 60 seconds to go by. And I'll remove that light and I will apply the foil. So this is what I will say about applying the foil. You want to make sure that since this is a press-on, that you still apply the foil firmly. And when I say it firmly, you want to make sure that it is pulled tight because you don't want it to begin to buckle on the nail and cross over each other. Because once you pull it up, that will show on the nail. No matter how much you try to avoid it, avoid it, it will be there on the nail. So... Be mindful of that. Now, by me not having it sitting on anything at all, I am using my finger, my pointer finger, to be sure to brace the nail so that I can push on it kind of hard to make sure that I am firmly applying it and heating it up as much as I can with rubbing it so that it transfers with no problems. We don't want to miss anything on this nail because, again, it is a ombre nail, so it's not like we'll be covering the full nail after this. We'll only be covering the top of it, so we want to get this right. I always start to tear from the top, not the bottom, because you want your bottom to be in place just as well. But with the ombre nail, you can kind of cover it up at the top of the nail if it's not right. So I go to the top, pull back. If it's not right, you see I rub some more and then I go to the bottom and I begin to pull it straight off. And as you see, it comes off with no problem.
Okay, so now that I have applied the foil, I'm going to take my Wave Shiny Gel Top Coat and I am going to apply it on top of the foil. This is to be sure that when you go in with your monomer and your bead, you do not destroy the foil that is already there. If you do not do this step and you forget about it, when you begin to lay your acrylic, your foil will begin to disappear. Honestly. As you can see, I am doing it on both. Making sure I get the sides and everything. Because again, if not, your foil will begin to disappear. And you will have to redo that nail all over again. Once we do that, we are going to cure those for 30 seconds. And then we'll move on to everything else.
Okay, so I'm working on some 3D flowers for this set. This was just something I was trying out. Um, with I'm bringing a 3D flower set. Y'all gonna see how it turns out. But um, let me know if y'all want a 3D flower video. I can definitely show you how to do that. Because it is something that took me a while to get. But now that I got it, I love doing them. So let me know if y'all need that. Okay, y'all, I have finished the press-ons, uh, the, the prepping process for the press-ons. Well, at least I should say that. And I am now taking my Young Nails e-file with a mandrill and a fine grit sanding band. I'm going to lightly clean around my cuticle to prepare my nails to uh, customize this press-on. The reason why I keep saying customize, because I want y'all to understand these are customized press-ons. These are not uh, previously made press-ons. They are customized. They are going to fit my nail bed exactly. Uh, I also am thinking about offering this to my clients, but I don't know. But you have to come in and get sized for these so that I know exactly what to do. And to finish them off, you do have to come in and get them applied um, to your nail. But when you get ready to remove them, whether it's when you leave the shop or you go home, you know they're going to fit directly back on your nail perfectly to look like you went and you actually had a nail uh, appointment that day. So that is why I keep saying custom. I'm not saying custom because they are press-ons and they have a custom design. I'm saying custom because of the fit. But you'll see me go through all the nails. Go ahead and just nicely prep and make sure I get that dead skin off because, again, we want these to fit the nail, okay?
Okay, y'all. So I'm going to use a um, Easy Peel base coat to create these press-ons. I love this base coat. I knew nothing about it at first. And then a uh, Nail Tech Dice Bomb in my salon, uh, well, in my shop, she uses this in the nail shop. And, oh, my God, she does press-ons all the time for herself, and it works great. So, as you can see, I'm just lightly applying it. I'm not leaving it too caked up on the nail. I'm going to do this for each nail, okay? And then I am going to cure my nails. I think I cured them for... 90 seconds or something like that you all can take a look and see and then i am going to glue the press ons as they are to the smile line of my nail and as you can see my nails are damaged uh they're not e-file damage they are damaged from flipping off a jet ski um breaking some nails a couple of times and just not letting them heal so i am letting them heal All right, so I have begun the design on the on the tip of the um nails. I have prepped my nail. I have glued the tips on, and I have also put the peel base coat on. As you can see, the nails are stuck there. They are stuck, 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 stuck. They are glued to the peel base coat. I'm going to go in and take my beads and finish off these nails. This is what makes them press-ons. It literally took me an hour to do both hands instead of taking me three, okay? Because it was such an easy process. I went ahead and filed and shaped and everything um, with the nails on my hand. So I 
think I recorded that. I think you all will see that. But this is the process that I was talking about. This is what makes it so custom. I'm literally going in, taking that Young Nails Cherry Blossom and finishing off this set. Uh, this brush here is also from Nail Glimmer. I think it's a size 12. Um, and it is a good brush. I do like this brush a lot. I'm just going in just like I would do for if I was doing my regular nails and um doing some I guess I would say permanent nails I don't know doing nail extensions period <laughs> I would go in and I would nicely apply those beads to finish off those nails and that's what I'm doing now in this video you're gonna see me do something I don't recommend other people do but I know my skin uh I am kind of getting the monomer on the skin a little bit don't do that to your clients because sometimes you can overexpose your clients to the monomer or any other nail products and it can cause them to break out. So if you can avoid getting it on their skin, um, the monomer, anything, avoid it, you know, but with my own skin, I cannot avoid it. Like it is impossible. I have to go around the cuticle and I have to uh, seal everything with my brush and I that's the way I choose to do it and it does not bother my skin at all so it works for me but I would not do that on my clients at all just try to not flood your cuticle easier said than done when working on yourself with your client should be no problem so y'all are going to see me do this for the rest of the nails um throughout this video i think sometimes i go out of frame i apologize it's kind of hard to know when you're in frame when you have your iphone uh because i use my second iphone my other phone for this so i use my work phone to record these videos on just for storage purposes and so it is sometimes hard to stay in frame because i don't i can't see the actual phone display sometimes so i try to stay in frame as much as possible uh, when doing these so just bear with me i'm gonna get all my equipment and stuff right but it is a process between trying to find time to do these videos and making sure they're right and also making sure that i get clients in so that i can afford to take time out and make these videos <laughs> so as y'all can see i'm out of frame like i told you i would i'm so sorry my my thought process was like, damn, I'm out of frame. But I had to go ahead and do it this way so that I could see. Because I needed to see to make sure it looks right. And that foil and that fucking, um, excuse my language, y'all yeah, know I cuss. And that Young Nails Cherry Blossom, it, it does it for me. I promise you it does it for me. I love that foil. I actually, when my nails heal, I'm going to go back in and actually do a set with that foil again. Because I just love the way it looks. Like, it just, it makes the whole set look like, okay, okay, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just brings, I don't know, it just brings the set out. I really like that foil. So, y'all just stay tuned. Y'all gonna see how I'm ombre in that foil so that you don't really see any mistakes that may have been made at the top of the foil. There we go. And I finally figured out I was out of frame. <laughs> So I went ahead and adjusted the best way I could while jumping out of frame again. Again, y'all, I apologize. It's not my intention. However, it happens sometimes when you are making these videos um, because you can't necessarily see and then you can't wait too long to start working with your acrylic bead because, again, it will dry up. So, and look at this, y'all. That is just so pretty. I cannot wait to redo these nails again. I think I did these like on November 6th to be exact. So I cannot wait to work on these again. Because like, look at that. That looks so good with that. So I'm just going to speed this up now that y'all see how I am um, going through the process of fixing these nails. Um, finishing these, I said fixing these nails. <laughs> finishing these customized press on. So I'm just going to speed it up.
And as y'all can see, <laughs> I got some of that monomer on my skin. Try not to. But again, it is hard when you are servicing yourself. But here is what these beauties look like. I did not top coat them or anything. Um, I was trying to figure out if I want to leave them matte or top coat them. But this is what they look like, y'all. Like, aren't they beautiful? They are so pretty. So, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to have more videos coming out. Also, follow me on Instagram, loyal at loyalalert. And thank you so much for tuning in. Here's some photos.